So it is a huge market chance, technology challenge. I have a chair at the university in Shanghai, Tonji University, one of their elite university, and I learned there a nice proverb saying, a hand you cannot cut, you have to shake. A hand you cannot cut, you have to shake. If this request of higher efficiency comes anyhow, don't criticize it. Don't say that's not necessary or is too expensive. Try to find an answer. That's your market. That's a chance in this world where we have to overcome poverty in the <coughs> developing countries and where we have to do this in our own interest to avoid tensions. So I absolutely underline what was mentioned here. The development in this field of power and energy in your, in your sector is still starting it cannot be expected that this sector will be out of the regulation of the governments or the European Union and others as well. Read what was decided in this retreat of my government. You will easily see this development is fairly clear. The same goes with the next topic, which is linked with IT. That is the question how to optimize, to maximize the national resources integrated. You see, I have to confess, I am the guy who started this when I was a minister for environment here in this country. Maybe as one or the other learns the system of the green dot. So I'm the green dot. I hope that's not too difficult to imagine. And if you go on the breakfast table, we'll see in the little jam or whatever you see still, it's not any longer a green, but a black dot of what kind of color is all. What was, the, what was the idea behind it? The idea behind it is very easy. Until those days, we had a linear thinking. One was responsible for production, the other for selling, the next for using, and there was somebody responsible for the waste. If you go in this linear thinking, you never can expect that those who are responsible for production are asking themselves, what is the challenge for the waste management of my product? In the very moment where you close this, that changed totally. We call this a producer responsibility. If you are aware that at the end of the lifetime of your product, your product is back in your responsibility handling the waste, you will totally change the products, totally change the products. I will never forget when we started this with cars. I had to go to Japan and uh, was criticized by the big bosses from the Japanese automotive companies. And I explained it to them and then they mentioned, uh, seems to be not a non tariffic trade barrier. And they mentioned to their people, we have to criticize you that you didn't have the idea. Because in a world which has 8.5 billion people in 43 years, in a world where we need a lot of economic progress, of course we must increase dramatically the use of these materials to recycle in the broadest sense. I can only underline what Martin mentioned in this field. is again not ideology. Ideology. It is the need for serving the markets. And therefore, it is not a fashion, but it is a remaining challenge. And as we discussed it in energy, you have it in resources again. Because you have in resources, again, the question first, can we offer a broader supply? Question of new materials, all kinds, I cannot go into detail. And you have to ask how we can increase the efficiency again. I go to the second, knowing that the other is at least as important, and that is very important also with regard to the supply chain, your responsibility, and more and more your consumer will ask, what is behind the product I buy? How was it produced? What is the consequence for the environment, for social stability on this world? Take it in this resources. Again, we see that this was the beginning of a wonderful technical development. 
I will never forget when we started and say you have to separate your waste in different fractions, glass and paper and plastics and metal. Lots of problems if this was not done because they had to pick it out and it was a very dirty job. Nobody liked it very much. Today, you can't believe what a kind of technology is available. Huge technology, they can separate automatically the different kinds of plastics. Knowing that the cleaner you separate, the better you can recycle. When you mix up, you cannot recycle very much. In Germany now, we have the situation that we don't have waste for a landfill left. You are not allowed to go to a landfill. And I'm very sure that earlier or later, the, the wording waste will go out of our language. Because you have to close the cycle and you have to start in the development of the products. And therefore, I come here. I'm to the utmost interested to make the producer responsible for their product and then they start the demanding ideas in the very beginning and the question, how can we reuse it or recycle it? This re r policy in Japan is nothing else than this. So, second part. Let me add one which was not yet so clearly mentioned. We, of course, also expect from your industry a lot of solution in other parts, how to substitute more energy-efficient or resource-efficient processes. One of the best known, therefore I want to mention it here, is, for example, video conferencing. What is the expectation? What is the possibility in the future to substitute the mobility of persons via the substitute of the spins? I'm to the utmost convinced that we will have here also a huge push of technology in the future. We will see that we don't have only video conferencing. We will have video working place. You are sitting on the same room virtually with your people in India. Maybe you go together in the evening virtually to a sundowner. You must feel that this is the possibility in the future. Otherwise, you are going anyhow by plane and want to see what's happening. That's what we learned in the past as well. If you give only one function of traveling in another technology, it's not substituting the traveling. You must broaden this. And I see it very clearly that this kind of video conferencing will have a huge positive effect of decreasing in the globalized world the running around, as we do it in the logistic case as well. All these are new markets for you. All well, these are new chances to single out that those pictures are not, at the end of the day, the future in the world. If you go only one step further, you see this, and you can, of course, believe that this is very closely linked to energy and to CO2 emission. You see it here now. You have nearly the same balloons, a little bit less in Japan, because Japan's energy efficiency is higher. It is... Uh, with China already, you see a very difficult energy efficiency as well. You see the situation in the projection for 2020 already changing the structure. Only to give you the answer. Yes, there is a need for green IT. It is not a fashion. It is not a hype. It is not the answer to the sensitivity of emotionally backed people. It is, it is an economic activity to bring those products which are energy efficiency in a new dimension, that's really a new a third industrial revolution necessary, and it is going on with lots of economic opportunities. It is a chance to analyze what is necessary for a world of 8.5 billion people under the condition that these people are using at least 60% CO2 emission less, 60 at least. In Europe, we are discussing 80. What is the kind of world? What is your product? What is your answer to this? That seems to me to be fascinating.